All right, here we are with Will Sagaris from Bradfield Badger Fox. He's one of those agents, I call him a, a weather vane agent. And what I mean by that is he doesn't just operate in one suburb, in one patch, looking after just one particular type of property. He's actually a really diverse agent. He sells things from $900,000 apartments in the inner west to $30 million development sites, beautiful $10 million houses in uh, the Harborside area. I've got a couple of questions for you today. It's February 2024. Um, Interest rates on hold, inflation print has has really come off the boil. Yeah. What do you see happening in our core areas, eastern suburbs, inner west, city, harbour side, for the next few months? Uh, Dan, I think it's going to be really strong, and you touched on interest rates there. We're no longer getting talk of interest rates increasing at opens. Buyers are confident, the confidence is back in it. We're going to have a very strong market in this first and second quarter. Gotcha. And is that across everything that you're looking at? Is that, is that apartments? Is that duplexes, houses, land bankers letting go of land? What, what are you seeing? It's, it's pretty much across everything. Um, as you touched on, I do a bit of everything, east, inner west, commercial, residential, even a bit of industrial here and there. Mm -hmm. um, it's across the board. Like I'm seeing great numbers through two bed and one bed residential units and yep. I'm getting really big offers on residential sites where people are buying up, you know, three, four, five, ten houses in a street to redevelop them into units. Gotcha. And so what what effect is that having on the value of land? So in terms of the houses, mm. there's less and less every year. You're getting these developers buy up whole streets, really. Um, and what that does is it takes away a really big segment of those houses that would eventually come onto the market that are now units. Mm. And we're already in a market where housing is so tight um, I think it's just going to push the price of those houses up more. Around these areas, the average cost is already in the mid, you know, for a good three, four bedroom house is already in the mid twos, threes. How can it go that much further? I mean, isn't it outpacing people's borrowing capacity and, and, and um, mm. income? Like, you really see us taking a big step up, even from where we are now? I, I totally get all those points. They make really good, valid, strong arguments. Best example I can give you, my father... $82,000 for a freestanding house in Randwick. Mm. We're talking 35, 40 odd years ago. That house every day of the week, you know, we're talking five to five and a half mil. Um, and it's not because he's done a great deal of work to it. It's purely because that's the way the market is. It's driven on demand. There's a lot more demand now. There's less stock. Rates are on hold. Um, we'll see what happens with that. But I think if you're gonna buy and you can afford land, get a, as much of it as you can. Right, yeah. so it's all about all about the land for the next little while. Definitely. Get the land, get as much of the land as you can. Definitely. And uh, I know you are an active investor as well as a, a real estate agent. Where would you be buying now? Oh, a um, few pockets that I really like. Um, when we're talking kind of that inner west, um, outer city area, um, you know, Darlington. I love Darlington. I love Darlington. I think it's one of those pockets where just, for some reason, people knew Redfern. They didn't know Darlington, you know, I'd be showing houses there in years gone past and people didn't really know about it and it was just... And it has gentrified and yeah, still massively. is gentrified. Massively. You yeah. know, it's changed a lot. you got a lot of... I was selling a lot of um, really run down older terraces there. People have come in with money from the surrounding suburbs who have been priced out, come in, done beautiful renos, mm. resold them. It's just... And I notice yeah. that when I go out to inspect properties there, every second or third house has a builder there, a yeah. carpenter there. Yeah. There's a lot of activity. There's a lot of work going on there. And that is one of the signs of gentrification, isn't it? That De you... Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And the other suburb I was going to touch on, Marrickville. Love Marrickville. I still think there is, although it's come a long way in the last few years, there's still a lot of good value there. You know, you can still get a little cottage um, or even a freestander for reasonable money that you can add value to, which is going to increase. Um, other areas I love, you know, Kensington, Kingsford, obviously I do a lot around there. Can well. we talk about Kensington for a second? Because yes. I, I love Kensington. Yes. I've bought in Kensington from one to six million dollars in the last couple of years. Yeah. Kensington, the thing I love about it, obviously you've got Randwick, where I grew up, you know, that's a great suburb as well. Mm. I found that in the last five to 10 years or so, we've seen a lot of Randwick buyers because the prices have gone hugely, like to mm. just strength to strength there, which has pushed a lot of people into Kensington. In turn, built those prices up. But you can still get a really good sized block of land for sensible money. Yep. It's gonna grow. 
you're close to everything. When you're there, you really realise you've got the unis, you've got the light rail, public transport, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's so green and lush. I think what I'm hearing here is just the, the value for money. You're three minutes away from all of those things that you might get in Randwick or Centennial Park or Queen's Park. Yeah. But what would the differential be? Maybe 15, 20% cheaper, 30% cheaper? You're bang on. We're talking like for like. We're talking 20 odd percent, maybe even 25%, depending on street and things like that. But like for like about 20%. Um, gotcha. Which gotcha. is a lot when you might be talking about three, four, five million dollar purchase. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, wow. Cool. Some great valuable information there. You're hearing it directly from the horse's mouth, from the expert here. Thanks for your time today, Will. Pleasure. Thanks, See you man. around. Cheers.